When you look up at the night sky, you might notice that the moon looks a little different each night. This is due to our moon's many phases and types. Sometimes, you might see the moon glowing red. Other times, the moon may appear larger than usual. But here's the thing, the moon itself isn't changing colors or sizes. These visual transformations are all about its position relative to the sun and earth. Before diving into the topic, let's explore lunar eclipses. Lunar eclipses can only happen during a full moon, when the sun fully illuminates the surface. Usually, a full moon has no eclipse, because the moon orbits in a slightly different plane than the earth, and the sun. However, sometimes these planes align just right. When this happens, earth passes directly between the moon and the sun. As earth cuts off the sunlight, a shadow is cast on the moon, creating the breathtaking spectacle of a lunar eclipse. A blood moon occurs during a total lunar eclipse, when Earth's shadow completely covers the moon. Although it holds no special astronomical significance, the sight is captivating, as the moon transforms from its usual whitish hue, to a striking red. During a total lunar eclipse, Earth positions itself directly between the moon and the sun, blocking direct sunlight from reaching the moon. In this alignment, the only light that touches the moon, comes through the edges of Earth's atmosphere. In the Earth's atmosphere, air molecules scatter most of the blue light, leaving the red wavelengths to light up the moon's surface. This process gives the moon its distinctive red glow, creating the striking appearance of a blood moon in the night sky. How red the moon appears, can depend on how much pollution, cloud cover, or debris is there in the atmosphere. For instance, if an eclipse occurs soon after a volcanic eruption, the additional particles in the atmosphere can make the moon appear darker than usual. While there are planets and moons all over the solar system, only Earth is lucky enough to experience lunar eclipses, because its shadow is just large enough to cover the moon completely. The next blood moon is set to occur on March 13th and 14th this year. It will be visible from start to finish across the United States. Meanwhile, regions in Europe, Asia, Australia, South America, the Pacific, and Africa, will be able to witness at least some portion of this captivating eclipse.